A nice season by the Golden Bears gets them a bowl game in their backyard. Hi, I'm Lauren Shahadi. Welcome to the Emerald Bowl preview. After going 6-6 six and six to end the regular season in 2007, Cal is on the upswing. Two of the eight victories the Bears notched this season came over the likes of Oregon and Michigan State. Coach Jeff Tedford's success in 2008 comes from the legs of a sophomore, Javid Betts. The runner is fourth on Cal's single-season rushing list with almost 1,400 yards and is fifth in the rushing in the country with 126.7 yards per game. In the last game of the year against Washington, Bess ran for 311 yards and four touchdowns. The Miami Hurricanes will join Cal in San Francisco. It's Miami's first time playing a West Coast team since 2001, but back then, if you remember, the Hurricanes were smashing other teams and were in contention for a title. These days, Randy Shannon is hoping to bring them back, and in his second year, he is making progress with his first bowl game appearance since becoming head coach. The U looked like it was going to compete for an ACC championship spot after running off five straight in the middle of the season. Fell flat, though, in the final two games with losses to Georgia Tech and NC State. Miami relied heavily on plenty of youth, starting with a pair of quarterbacks that were rotated, Robert Marv and Ja'Cory Harris. Each passed for 1,000 yards, but come December 27th, it will just be the true freshman. Harris Marv will not play suspended after violating team rules. And this is a big blow, definitely. So let's bring in our college football columnist, Dennis Daw. Dennis, let's start off with the suspension of Robert Marv. Being late for class was what supposedly cost him a chance to play. But that's not the first time he's had issues while at the U, Dennis. Is, this, is there any chance he could transfer after this season? Well, right now he says no. He's, uh, he said in published reports that he enjoys Miami, loves being a hurricane. His friends at Ja'Cory Harris, uh, so he, he plans to be back, although this is the second time he's been suspended this season. There was an issue stemming from last year, a misdemeanor thing that uh, he missed the opener. But you know, a lot of people that watched this team this year thought Ja'Cory Harris should have gotten the job anyway. They pretty much split the playing time throughout the whole season. This is a great chance for Ja'Cory Harris, um, a run-pass guy, to grab the job with a good showing in this bowl. Okay, let's talk about Miami's opponent, Cal. They had a nice showing this season with Javid Best returning and Jeff Tedford's ability to develop college quarterbacks. How do the Golden Bears look next year? Well, they're going to they're have problems. I mean, Nate, Nate Longshore and Kevin Riley, Riley's a sophomore. Neither of these guys took hold of the job during the season, and that's kind of troubling for a guy, as you mentioned, uh, Jeff Tedford, who's a quarterback maker throughout his career and, and you know for like the second straight year they've relied on the running game to win for him Javid Best kind of came out of nowhere uh, rushed for 512 yards and six touchdowns in his last two games the Pac-10 rushing champion take that for what you will when you know every one of those teams is playing Washington and Washington State but it's going to be up to Miami to stop that run game first because I don't think these quarterbacks can beat them. Right. Well, let's focus on the now. Like you said, Miami has to travel clear across the country to play in basically a Cal home game. After all, Berkeley is just outside of the city of San Fran. How do you see this one playing out, Dennis? Well, I think it's going to be, you know, Miami, I think, has a great chance to win this game. Uh, Cal playing at home is going to be tough for Miami. But I think Ja'Cory, just because of what we talked about, Ja'Cory Harris is going to be his team totally for the first time this season. And I think with the defense improving for Miami, they did win five out of the last seven. They dropped the last two, as you mentioned. I think this is a big jumping off point for Miami for next season. They win a close one. Dennis Stott, our college football columnist. We appreciate it. Thank you. De December 27th is the matchup, guys. For updates, check back with us here on the site. Thanks for tuning in.